you gotta do is throw red light count. violation is a thousand dollars, and she just told me it was fifteen hundred multiple times. Which would there? I mean, you could understand why that would encourage me to plead out, plead guilty, or avoid the hundred. But she was determined to convince me it was fifteen hundred. She was sick one day, and I had a substitute judge, and I asked him. I said, you know, she said it was fifteen. Is it fifteen or a thousand? And he goes, oh, she must have smoked. It's just a thousand. So I had to be very careful about it. Just like not having it. She called the next case. I didn't answer any of my next questions. I wish I had that on footage, but yeah, it, all in all, it was eight court dates until they finally dropped. And just keep it. Uh, you don't want to be. Recording them. Not once you're in the room. I guess we might be able to. Oh, that's just me and Shire, dude. You guys are allowed to bring okay, cameras great. in the courtroom? Perfect. We've been allowed for a long time. That's cool. Yeah, that's a totally different world to me. You can't bring camera phones even in the courtroom. Yeah, and it's, it's, it seems to have gotten easier over time. Cool. We did well. Yeah, I had I've actually had to go grab some food. I should talk to you. You gotta watch my bit kind of Good show, guys. Thanks, Ian. I definitely got my story from uh, Wednesday night, my adventure. So much is here. We haven't really entered that. I, I talked to the guy who said Besides this. last night, I talked to two nights ago. Yeah. Besides two nights ago, besides the poly party for like five seconds, we haven't Yeah. It. So I'm really curious. I got the poly party to talk about. I got a. Uh, uh, I talked to the guy who said it was too naked. Yeah, you can tell me about that. We uh, talked to the naked guy. I don't know where it is. come out? Yeah. Great. Oh, okay. I will you were a fucking hero. Yeah. 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 I don't know. So I think he's fundraising to drink the balls. He he brought up an interesting argument for nakedness as well. So I'll tell you on the show. I'm saving it for the show. I'm seeing the shot of exciting downgradation as we get going. Yeah, you just signed. Yeah, it's too I just signed. Yeah, I moved here over a year ago. And <laughs> That's just not sad. He's been here like four shocker years. And then I signed the uh, the declaration. You know, I was meant to, but I wanted to do it. You know. It's so weird. I know. Sh I I have, sort of I have a pretty Shire here. Shire dude. This is true. That's so fucking weird. That is the movie. Oh, yeah. This is the movie that made me decide to move to YouTube. Yeah, Both of us sign you tend to move after watching that. Because of this one. Because of this guy. Yeah. Right here. We should get some of show. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. All right. I gave you some charge. That's great. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. You can I got you. Why are you wearing a I signed the Shire Society Declaration. I'm identifying myself as Shire Society. Yeah, sure. We can talk about it with Derek. You signed like forever ago, right? The Shire Society Declaration. Huh? You signed the, the Declaration like forever ago. 2011. Yeah. Live, guys. Show. We are a once a week broadcast normally from Manchester, New Hampshire, but we are broadcasting live today from Lancaster, New Hampshire, in the heart of the White Mountains for Porkfest 2015. 
I am Ron Mathias. And I'm Shagadu. And our guest today, who's going around the table, but now sitting back down, is none other than Derek J. Hey guys, good to be with you. And uh, yeah, it's been a wild adventure today. The whole week has been a wild adventure for us. Plenty of stories. Plenty of stories. We're going to be sharing a lot of them. And uh, it's been, today's been actually kind of the high, the high of the hurricane for me. Because uh, the last couple of days have been a nonstop uh, adventure in itself. But right this morning was kind of like the cool off period. Tonight is the dance party, which I know both of us were highly excited for. Only yeah, I am. I don't know about you. Yeah, well, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna be all fancy and have uh, your costume. Well, which... our costume. Me and my rebel mistress are going as a as a duet. I haven't even seen this, and I live with the guy. Like, I, I'm, it, I'm really it, curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They kept it on the DL. So uh, we may break the rules as going as a duet costume, but even if one of us would we both win. So, so Derek J, are you gonna dress up anything special this year for? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna keep it simple, wear a speedo. I look super cute in it, and uh, just feel most comfortable with that. Are you, one. Are you gonna be open carrying during your uh, speedo? Like you no, <laughs> no. Um, that you know, it, I found it difficult to do, especially dancing. Like I thought it would be kind of cool, like because where else but at Pork Fest do you like dance with a bunch of other people who have guns on their hips? With but a speedo. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I did that at the uh, '80s party. And so, you know, like, for me, the big gay dance party isn't so much about the costumes. I know people freak out about that and love that part of it, but me, you know, I'm there to dance and have a good time, see all the people and trip while I'm looking at pretty lights. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if the uh, the naked man is going to show up to the dance party. I hope so. And yeah, I wonder yeah, if he's been naked. Yeah. What, what is his name? Jeff. Jeff. And he is a hero. He is a hero. I went <laughs> up to him and Derek the, uh, earlier this afternoon. And I had to shake his hand. Because that guy is a hero walking around full nude, you know. Uh, Looks beautiful, by the way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I don't have the bravery he does, but I would love to be able to walk around Pork Fest and, and that guy what, is a hero. What should be the rule about that at Pork Fest? I mean, apparently, so I was there when uh, one of the members of the staff came up to him during a uh, speech or a presentation in one of the tents and said, hey, would you mind putting something on? You know, he was like very polite and, and respectful about it, but still, I'm offended that he would even ask. Like, come on, this is supposed to be Freedomville. The, um, so they both had the same argument. The staff was like, look, we're selling this idea of moving to New Hampshire, we want people to be comfortable, we, you know, we're marketing this idea, right? So we want to put a good face on it. But the guy was like, yeah, you're marketing this. Like, market to me, <laughs> you know? Like, what, you know, I have more freedom in San Francisco to walk around naked than I do here in New Hampshire? At, at Pork Fest, of all places, really? That's one thing I found fascinating is, I've witnessed multiple times now where Pork Fest, you know, uh, people were working for Pork Fest. Telling people they can't have a drink because they're underage. Telling people uh, to move along because the, the the bureaucrats are here and don't film them. Right. Uh, to telling people that was such to a put joke. on their clothes. No, it's like, I saw that too. Did, did they seriously think that anyone was going to listen? Or did, was that like some obligatory... It's almost like, do they like, understand all the guys, would you mind? they're in? Yeah. Hey, don't film the government agents who are here at Pork Fest uh, asking <laughs> the vendors if they have licenses. Just don't do it's, that. It's, okay. Like, what are we here to do? It's really weird. This is the first time I've been here where I've taken, like, people are trying to give them the margin orders. Like, it's never happened until this pork fest. I'm more disappointed by it. Well, I'm not disappointed by this pork fest. Oh, no, no, no. I, no, no, I think no, this has been wrong. the this... best pork fest yet every year. It oh, gets no, better. No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. This but these crazy. are, I, I, I am not happy about the nudity. That was the same last year. Yeah. When, um, and Nicole, uh, I think, the, like, I don't know, was it the first year Nicole had her shirt off? She was asked to put it on. Another time, um, Dylan uh, wore a loincloth or whatever, and it, I mean that he at least he was covered, right? Uh, it was just bare ass. But there have been several uh, females this year who have gone topless, and as far as I know, the That's security been backed off of them. It, it's been totally fine. Oh. So I feel like we've female made privilege. some, uh, yeah, <laughs> some headway at least in the realm of female privilege. So basically, we freed the tits. We freed the, the tits. Have not been free. Yes. <laughs> we need to make that an effort next quarter. Free the balls, 2016. <laughs>
We should have a nudity event or something. I don't know. Well, so I asked, where is it appropriate? And he was saying, like, look, I'm not anti-nudity. You know, I walk around naked. I go to places where it's cool to be nude. You know, I'm for that. And at the big gay dance party, that's totally cool. You know, when you're inside, nakedness is great. But, um... Or, like, if the, he's on his own adult... site that he bought, like, he set up his tent naked, he was telling me. Yeah, well, yeah. he said the adult area is over there by the, the tents. Like, over yeah. there's an adult area and uh, a more family-friendly area, I guess, is what they're calling it. But I, I, I'm even offended by that term. Like, nudity is not family-friendly. Like, I don't know. It's not just because a person's naked doesn't mean it's sexual. You know what well, I mean? Like, absolutely. the kids don't have a problem with it. It's adults. Absolutely. I had, uh, I had an interaction with uh, a couple of new people who were just here for their first pork class from Texas. And uh, they are asking me for, uh, is there any adult things? And they had like a 14 year old daughter with them. I'm like, and then mind you, I'm smoking pot in front of them because I have my bowl in front of me. Yeah. That's pork fest, yeah. you know? And uh, while I'm talking to them, I'm telling them, yeah, there's, you know, you, you can go over uh, and play poker or uh, and pretty much you can find any drugs anywhere you want. And, uh, and then on top of that, like, you can go over to the domes right over at the end of the, of the campground where, you know, they got strip club coming. Nights and you know really yeah well, I went there well, last night which was amazing I, I heard they're gonna keep keep it rolling actually so wait so what's going on tonight at the uh, sex go I don't know I'm probably not a strip club yeah, yeah. but well, last time we went to the strip how does that work amazing uh, they they have a charge at the door and you go in you tip the you know you throw some money down for the uh, stripper to come over to your lap dancing and all and right they're dancing around yeah cool you missed uh, a local I don't want to say his name on the air. Um, but uh, he was uh, stripping down. It was quite a fast. A keen local, or I'll, I'll, a give, you, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you. a hint. It was uh, Dick, uh, Dick Gate. So. Uh, oh he was my really God. Guy. He was. <laughs> it was hilarious. He got a picture with the stripper, which is hilarious as well. In that, which is just fascinating. Um, and then my real mistress over there. She. Uh, she gave me a, a private dance at the. Uh, in the dome. Oh, right. Quite nice. impressive. To bring, yeah. to bring it back to the nudity issue, though, it's weird that that's our taboo. Like, something that yeah. we all share, the naked male or female form. Yeah. Ah! That's the problem that we have. No! Yeah, and we're doing all sorts of crazy <laughs> hallucinogenic drugs and, like, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> people are carrying freaking rifles around, and that's our problem. It's like, oh, no, oh, oh, Heaven penis. forbid a penis or a ball <laughs> or a nipple makes yeah. an appearance, and heaven forbid right. we got to get, like, all security on them. and make I've them never seen a penis before, and I hate to them. lose my eye virginity. I know. You should have yeah. seen them last night. They were all out. All the schlongs. We were saying all the that. Schlongs? Yeah. And, and I don't know, there were no ladies in the audience, there, there was like one or something, but we said no, but yeah, we had to keep the doors open. There, there are two, for the listeners who can't see where we are, there are two doors in the room where we're producing this, and right next to the broadcasters are two bathrooms, and so uh, we insisted that the doors stay open, so anyone who wanted to use them had to be on display. Uh, that, that, that is beyond kinky for me. I, I don't need to see some other partner. <laughs> Excavating. That's, that's kinkier than our own love show by far. But if you're into that, go check out Flaming Freedom. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. It's, yeah. So you had a lot of nudity during the show. Yeah, we had guys in bondage. We had uh, tied up in ropes, uh, one in a full body suit. Another guy in a straight jacket. <laughs> this might be the sexiest pork fest yet. Oh, absolutely. It was crazy. More craziness to come next. Should I leave this open in honor of Flaming Freedom? Ha 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 Whatever you are, come for Freedom. Oh, is that that meat you got? Yeah. It's fantastic. Try any of it? Did you say it's nasty? No, it's amazing. Oh, yeah, can I try some? Uh, I mean, it's a little warm now. Do you care about one? Fine. Alright. Key invention is your chance. 
There we go. Some key liberty activists from across the shop. <laughs> you can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned uh, veterans. Do some I writing. turned it down. Oh, maybe Daryl turned it down. Keene Brains received great oh, reviews oh. last year. Oh, yeah. Visit, visit KeeneVention.info for full video coverage yeah. of every Where speaker uh, and panel. This year's keynote speech is going to be lot. announced via the KeeneVention blog and Facebook. So stay oh, tuned there for the latest. I have your Join audio recorder. Oh, did you want it back? This October 30th, we have it in my bag. Tickets are yeah. available yeah. now at a special early bird price of just $50. Oh. So what's the, the, what's the, the $50. Wow, that's exciting. I don't know. 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 I don't that's great. All you need is a view of the southern sky and an affordable receiver and a dish of small as three inches. There are other things. Don't know that. Yes. If more breakers are going to be one, this is a good way to get your contact, see our coverage map, and get details at sac.lrn.fm. I wonder how many people. I wonder how many people visit sac.lrn.fm. Because it sounds like he says sack or whatever. Sack. RN. Everybody knows it's sack. I never actually tried this in the LRN DSA. Oh, you have a cat. No, it's a dog. It's a dog. I was like, you have a cat on the leash. I couldn't see it. No, it's a cat. It's a dog. It's a cat and a dog. You can get yes, all this audio content, including interviews with Jim Burke, Ben Stone, Burke, Ben Burke, Ben Stone, Ben Burke, Ben Stone, Ben Burke, Ben Stone, 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 Ben Stone,
The chalkboard orange. I'm a big fan of the, uh, the Java uh, uh, boots and the uh, banana. I, I like the chocolate Zapatista and uh, the Soylent Green. Uh, I tried that last year. She had me guess what it was, and I can figure it out. <laughs> That's well, crazy. Ice cream with Soylent. Speaking yeah. of Shire, you, have you done your uh, your free ice cream event at the Metaphor? I, I did. I did do the event. With, with uh, the former co-host? With Joelle, there. yeah. It was the drama event. So if you show up with someone that you have uh, beef with that's unresolved, when is uh, that happening? That happened Wednesday. And, oh. and so I showed up and I invited Joel, who I blocked him on Facebook. Uh, we had some beef on Facebook. Yeah. And uh, we sat there, we had ice cream. And the rule is you can eat the ice cream for free as long as you talk the entire time about things that you agree upon. And so the entire time we just kind of shot the shit. And uh, we talked for like an hour. We stayed like past the time too. And, it was actually, it actually went pretty well. Good. Do you I, feel like your issues are resolved now? I feel like some of them are, are a bit better, you know, I feel like there's, we've definitely moved towards forgiveness, I think, on, on both ends. And uh, I, I, I won't block him on Facebook immediately. Uh, I'll, I'll leave him unblocked. That's what while. matters, Yeah. what happens on Facebook. So you're going right. to unblock him, but not add him as he he's unblocked. Uh, actually, yeah, I don't know. I think I'd have to re-add him, right? If you block someone, no. If you unblock them, you'll still see their comments. Yeah, and but I'd have to read Adam as a friend. Groups, but you wouldn't yeah. see his posts. Yeah, well, I guess that's like a neutral. You know, you yeah, don't have right. to friend them, but you right. just like make sure you can see them occasionally. Yeah, you can see their comments. <laughs> yes, he now exists in my internet life. And you know, actually, I'll only contact people on Facebook. I don't use a phone or text. I know when you block someone, it's hard. It's really it's like you're like you, you have no <laughs> idea where I am. I only exist on Facebook online, pretty much. Yeah. Or in the yeah. real world. As far as like the social social media. Yeah, right. but the only way you can contact uh, Shire you in the real world is if you're in, per in front of him in person. Well, that's Otherwise, the only time you need to, right? Whoa. No, he's hard to reach sometimes. He's always on some sort of trip or journey. Trip? <laughs> Wherever he wants to call it. Oh, man, that was fun. Uh, Wednesday? Wednesday, I was, I was tripping, and it was great. Oh, we, we were. We were, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Robin and I was and and Andrew ride. were our... Uh, were our, we were your chaperones. You are a yeah. did a, chaperone. You are a drunken chaperone. I just named a dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, at one point, you told me, I know you're drunk but don't lose us. So we started walking towards the pavilion and uh, me and somebody else were making bets on how many times we'd have to stop because you guys were really getting distracted by everything. Yes. I bet five. Oh, we made good. three stops and then just totally lost you. Like you were gone. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we had no idea where you went. We we're like, well, we give up. <laughs> it, it was a fun trip. Yeah, you, you, were, good, you were good guides. Oh, I won't thank lie. You. You're very good guy. We did point you in the right direction. Sort of. I ended you up still lost and stuff. I, I ended up following a man who said he was Ian Freeman Peace for him. at least a couple hours, and we went on a chalk crusade where we chalked all over Porkfest, or and, and we started calling it porch feasts, um, and we chalked things like. My favorite one was call 855-453 and confess your sins. That was, that was probably the best message we put out there. And a few other oddly religious uh, texts we, uh, we chopped all over the place. Yeah. Oh, because you're a shaman. You have to do that now? Right, yeah. Well, I was a shaman. We had another. We had the other shaman, Cody O'Connor, with us. Uh, and then we had uh, the guy who said he was Ian Freeman, who is a, a prophet. So uh, he is. multiple religious figures uh, in this crusade. <laughs> and there's free chalk outside of Amanda Bolton's ice cream stand. In this it was box. just meant to be. Yeah, so it, it got really, uh, really crazy. At one point... We were following a bard who said his name was Carlos Morales, and uh, I got oh video of that, God. of him wow. singing like this uh, really angst-ridden libertarian-themed song and playing guitar, and uh, yeah. definitely videos yeah, coming we, up we, with that. Like yeah. Good night. The, uh, <laughs> the, the trip, it left from the big bonfire, Yeah. and uh, we had a trip to the uh, Sex Dome, which is near our uh, campsite. We're like right kitty corner across from it, so it was on the way home, you know, you could tell home if you see a huge sex dome. That's where home's at. <laughs> and, <laughs> only for you. Only for me. No, you were. Weren't you on the journey? I was on that journey. Yeah. Then why are you telling me it's only me? Do you because think that's a, your home. Do you that's not my home. I don't think it's an accident that the yeah. Fort Fest organizers put Rob Mathias next to the sex dome. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's probably it, it goes all the way to the top, people. Yeah, there's a, there's a deeper <laughs> conspiracy. I want to get five of it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Carlos, oh my god, 
the, he played this all the way out. I'm so glad you video grabbed that. That was amazing. <laughs> he tells me he doesn't remember any of it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it becomes a huge uh, YouTube hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to see this video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll watch it during the break. Well, okay. What about you, Derek? Have you had any crazy trips uh, here? Uh, yes, I have, but, but my mic isn't nearly on enough for me to tell my story. There, right. there we go. Worms, thank you. Uh, yeah, I was tripping. There was this really cute guy who I was uh, flirting with, but then he asked me for cannabis while I was tripping, and I thought he was a government agent, and I like freaked out and ran away. <laughs> we repaired the damage. Wow. We, we repaired the damage, but you could totally see that sort of thing happening, right? Where I'm like, you know, I freaked out. And I was like, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> and like. We, we like locked eyes in a weird way that I was saying, I'm confused, and he was like, I'm confused. And we both just went different directions. So, but that was like one bad part of the, the trip. Not like that, that was very bad, but um, the, the rest of the time it's been like, oh my God, look at where I am. You know, this is, uh, there are mountains and, and hills and everything as far as the eye can see. Rockers, yeah, scenery. Is absolutely beautiful. It's yeah. gorgeous. So, you know, that plus seeing all of these wonderful people, all being in one place, music and uh, food and vendors, uh, like, it's just been a trip on its own, you know, and then adding psychedelics to that is like even <laughs> <laughs> crazier. But um, yeah, so I uh, plan to be tripping for the uh, big gay dance party. Ooh, That'll be a good time. I feel like everyone is going to be tripping yes. on the yeah. dance party. Definitely. <laughs> I'll, I'll be very, very toxic. Uh, my real mistress over there got me to hook up, so we're going to be, uh, it's going to be quite the night tonight. You guys are going to lose the cost, the cost in contest, by the way. Oh, you're so certain about that? I'm 100, I'm 100, no, I mean, I can't. What are the, if I told you, it would ruin it, and then the like, last minute, well, it's not you go like out I'm there and like, go remake my whole costume. Like, oh, Rob's costume sounds so much cooler than mine, so now let's go seamstress for like three hours. <laughs> you know, I can't do that. It's too late at this point. I'm set on what I'm wearing. Well, you're set to lose. <laughs> That's harsh. Those are pretty words. I don't need it. Cato University is the Cato Institute's premier educational event of the year, being held this year from July the 26th. I know, I packed it and then it was like, oh, the I was like, oh, I can't smoke it. Yeah, no, I was like, I can't, I was like, I can't smoke this, this, smoke this year. And then, I was like, oh, I'll just leave it right here on this ledge, all precarious. Liberty and learning. Cato University is a genuine community. Yeah. You can freely share uh, your no idea who shades they are, but they don't fit my class. Wait, so I'm or in an atmosphere of friendship and like personal respect. Seconds? It's a long of fun program if you want to be on for the second that they got out of school. It's for people who don't want politicians or bureaucrats or officials to do their thinking for them. It's for people who value liberty. You'll learn, the next time you'll be inspired, three, you'll make new friends, yeah, you'll be so great people from, from around, around the world. All of the details are spelled yeah. out at the Cato okay. website, cato.org, yeah, no, and they hope to see you there this summer, that's all July the 26th through that's the 31st good. in Washington, D.C. Again, I know, right? <laughs> <Cato. laughs> it's going to have to repack. And yet you tested new photographs to a 23-year-old staff. Why did you do it? I wanted to see my kids. I was hoping the penis photo would arouse her sexually, uh, that she might think that's a nice penis. I responded and offered to have sex with a penis, or maybe some photo of my breasts. I like that. And that's what I'm talking about. But here's what it was saying to people. I think a promising, successful politician takes such a big news. I knew I could lock down my family, destroy my marriage, and damage the people that I love. If there's even a small chance of getting off at any time, you gotta take it. It's really dark and shaky, bro. It's so funny. You know, it's amazing. I'm very good. Yeah, it's a lot harder to get women to have sex with you than you have to have a chance. Yeah. Why don't you have a chance to find better? I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation. Your congressman, Ron Powell, awarded for having the outstanding freedom website. Anyway, I'm going to post it. Please stay. Let's keep tripping to I think it was just worth it. You have a free three month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays. And our booklet, that was Economic cool. Liberty in the Constitution, you wanna, which that, George that, Mason that. University economics professor Walter Williams yeah, created in recent college. That's FFS at FFS. No.
Now that you've found the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM, you can expose others to our big programs. To assist you in doing so, you'll find resources at promote.lrn.fm, including details on how to get a free membership to the Liberty Radio Network, how to get a free membership to the Liberty Radio Network, how to get a free membership to the Liberty Radio Network, how to get a free membership to the Liberty Radio Network, how to get a free membership to the Liberty Radio Network, how to get a free membership to the Liberty Radio Network, how to get a free membership to the Liberty Radio Network, how to get a free membership to the Liberty Radio Network, how to get a free membership to the Liberty Radio Network, how to get a free membership to the Liberty Radio Network, how to get a free membership to the Liberty Radio Network, how to get a free membership to the Liberty Radio Network, how to get what if the key to achieving liberty in your life like is to work together with others who think like you? Liberty yeah. activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the yeah. way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already yeah. making the move to New Hampshire. The successes Very are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning a new move, consider key to your space, civil disobedience, and math cooperation. And there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and videos to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in key. Oh, when well, we drew a border, we just, <laughs> we drew a border, and then I wrote, and don't, and don't cross. This means you, Ian. Well, it's more than just a <laughs> We regular social events each week. Yeah. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected what's with video, audio, free books, a forum, that's and that's efforts tools you can download and use in your I know, I used it last night. That's, that's freekeen.com. Welcome back. This is the Rebel Love Show broadcasting live from Lancaster, New Hampshire during a magical event known as Porch Feasts. Yeah. I thought it was Holly Fest. Holly Fest? Yeah, yeah. Holly uh, party last night. I thought it was Anarchy Camp. Anarchy Camp. What was the Polly party like? <laughs> oh my gosh. It was off the chain. Yeah, I co-hosted the Polly party with Cecilyn, the entertainer. And uh, we had, I think she counted around 40 people show up, wow. Polly and Polly Curious people. Did Someone you know all of them? No, I had no idea who most of them were. Wow, cool. Well, yeah. you knew their names, at least. Yeah, we all had name tags, and I was pouring beverages as quickly as possible. We had this jungle juice, and we finished this big delicious. old tub. It was delicious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was Everyone was sweet. sufficiently uh, swashed. Everyone was good to drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, one of the guests came up with a game to play. It's kind of like mixing musical chairs with Never Have I Ever, where some person stands up in the middle of the, the chairs, and says something that they've done. And of course, you know, they're all poly people and like kinksters. And so they're saying like really kinky stuff that they've done. Like, so someone says, oh, I, uh, I have, except it's something you have to have done. Oh, so it's the opposite of never have I ever. Yeah, the opposite, yeah. And they're like, oh, I have uh, uncomfortable body piercings. And then everyone with uncomfortable body piercings stands up and they group Wait, on the center. why would a person get a body piercing that's uncomfortable? You know, uh, I guess it's just a hindsight's 2020 kind of thing. Yeah. Like, why don't you take it out? Yeah, there, there are certain parts of your body you feel like you'd be very painful to pierce. Yeah. Like, too many either red things. I don't even have I've pierced piercings. my dick and my nipples and my lips. I've had the painful piercings. Like, and it's but they're not, not regret any of them? No. What do you no, pierce? I don't regret it. So, so you it's grow wonderful. to be comfortable with it. Yeah. Well, then, what's stopping people from piercing any part of their body? Yeah, I don't know. What's, what's on, what, like, if it's uncomfortable, they should take it out. Right, right. Or yeah, call, call that, your doctor. That might yeah, be, right? That might be their kink, though, the uncomfortableness of it. Oh, oh that's Like true. a Prince Albert. Yeah, yeah. that immediately comes to mind. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Not to say that I have uncomfortable piercings, which I don't. So but wait, that narrows it down to one uncomfortable piercing. So why don't they just say, I have a Prince for Albert? For you. For you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know, a lot of females stood up during that one, so I, I don't think they had Prince Alberts. I, I, I'm just guessing. Though. Maybe it's like the female equivalent. Is, oh, why yeah. would it be painful and why would you want it if it were? I don't know. Alan, would you get uh, leaked pierced now? You know, I haven't even like pierced the cartilage in my ears, so let me work my way towards that. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a long way to go on Alan Bali here, folks. <laughs> But yeah, we ended up playing this musical chairs-esque game for like three hours, like almost the entirety of the party, and it was great, it was wonderful. We had a, uh, yeah. Did people, wait, it was a, what was it called, the Polly Party? The Polly Party, yeah, the yeah. all-text book. Is this different oh, from the cuddle, was there a cuddle party? There was a cuddle party. I missed that. Was that in the 
That was his missed the cuddle part. It was in the creating community. Of all stuff. people. Oh. I don't know. I was too shy. I was too shy. And honest. Wow. Yeah. That's great. I, I don't know. I, I was just I was afraid someone was gonna ask me to cuddle and then I'd kinda like shy out of it and like decline them and then hurt them hurt their feelings, you know? When oh, when yeah, I you looked don't in there reject people. When I looked in there I saw a bunch of people laying on the ground and I was like, ew, that's the ground. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. thank you. I heard really great massages were had in there though. <laughs> well, you know, if you have to lay people. on the ground that, that price is too much. There were people that came out of there saying that they uh, their whole day was better after it. Wow. Yeah. You see, and this is also why I can't provide my services for money as a professional cuddler. It's because so many of you schmucks out there are giving them away for free. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, you're driving down the price. Yeah, really, you have to leave it to the experts. Yeah. <laughs> there should be some sort of law saying that if you're going to cuddle, you've got to charge money. Cuddling license laws. Do you hear anything about it? Like, what else was going on in there? Uh, just really good massages. I think everything stayed G-rated. I think that was one of the rules. Oh. So. All right. Yeah. So G-rated cuddling. Yeah. Well, if it's G-rated, were there kids in there? It kind of makes me uncomfortable. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. Yeah. Like, all right. I mean, I'm getting a no from the audience. No place. children were at the cuddle party. Uh, good. Yeah. It seems like even though it's adults, like it, it, even though it's G-rated, it should stay adults. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. It's where I've been. Uh, I've been camping in that whole adult area. Yeah. And uh, the whole idea of this whole sex dome right next. It's literally right next door. So we get that. Uh, we had that last night, they had a strip club going, which was an entry fee. So uh, the owner, Sarah, came up like, this is camping, right? Like, yeah, I'm literally camping, and I'm at a strip club, like, at the campsite. <laughs> Where you else know? can you find that deal? Except for Pork Fest, apparently, <laughs> uh, which was incredible. I don't know, it's a, it's a weird, but that was after our uh, whole trip. Like, the whole thing, you, during the break, you were playing the whole Carlos Morales, uh, playing us out from the, the big bonfire over toward the, uh, Sex domes, and uh, that was incredible in itself. Yeah, I ended my trip yesterday at the, at the sex dome. Yeah, see, I, I continued, I chugged along, man, with the, the chalking uh, activism, the chalktivism. We ended up, I, I ended up at the campfire at like five in the morning, the sun's starting to come up, and I'm hanging out there. There's like a demo, and some of the other guys, and uh, all the, all the misfits, pretty much, at Porkfest were at the campfire at that time. Wow, that's yeah. so weird. So I, I should get a merit badge of some sort for that. <laughs> so you said the trip badges. ended. Did it, like, snap end, or was it a slow down gradually? Can I say that again? When, when you said your trip ended, uh -huh. did it end, like, oh, I'm not I'm not high anymore? No, it was, it was a gradual end. Okay. Yeah, I, it was great. I found with hallucinogenics, like, Oftentimes I'm like, am I still tripping? Like, you know, how do you really you test that? I, I have, but it's always been like a, a general, gradual fee. Yeah. yeah. My rebel mistress was kind of the star of the trip, though. She, <laughs> she, uh, she was bawling her eyes out the entire time. They were tears of Why? joy. Why? They When you're on mushrooms, your eyes water. That's yes. one of the things yeah. that happens. I was so glad I ran into you. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> like, walking with you guys and talking to Anne. And she was spilling her heart out. And she was crying oh, and laughing. I, I, think I remember coming up to you and saying, could you ask her to stop crying? Because I want to make her cry I the rest her, of my what life. What is asking like going to she do? Was, she was burning out of tears, tears. And I wanted you to stop her. No, I gave her water. What? Okay, <laughs> you were fun. Punish the tears. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Yeah, I, I gave Anne one of my uh, Shire Dude hoodies, and she was wearing that. And I was like, Anne, just just wipe your eyes on the hoodie. Just wipe them right on the sleeves. Yeah, it was great. Oh, I gave you a tissue at one point, and she she was very grateful. She said, "This tissue's the best thing." Ever. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we were walking down, and uh, we walked down down the, uh, from the this building right here that we're in, and we were walking toward the bonfire. And we came across the uh, Bill Dominico with some laser light show. Oh, yeah! Oh, my God. <laughs> awesome. If you're on shrooms and you're seeing this laser light show and being like the to. big uh, the building. They upgraded it. It's awesome. They did. Now. They're yeah. so visual and you just get stuck in the light. He built that. He did. It's amazing. Good job. It's man. actually crazy. He actually uses that during uh, DUI checkpoints. So yeah. Like the, the last checkpoint, he had it like a. Uh, a laser like show against one of the buildings and manage uh, warning people of a DUI checkpoint. I'm proud to say that the first application was at Halloween. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's he, right. He did the laser, laser show. He did the laser and show. That was, and that was the moment that uh, I had a uh, King Venture Miracle during that party. Me and my robot. Oh. Thanks to you. And I got apparently Bill Dominic. We haven't tied Bill, babe. 
We gotta go thank him for his laser light show, apparently. I was yeah. so drunk. <laughs> she said well, she was too drunk. I'm gonna be announcing the uh, next Halloween party at tonight's big gay dance party. So there is gonna be one. There's gonna be an announcement. Yeah. So what okay. is going to be the uh, brainchild? What's it going to be called? Halloween. It's gonna be Halloween every year. Yeah, it's always it's always on Halloween. Okay. So cool. it's always the weekend of, or you know, exactly on it. I think next year it's like the day after. But where do you hold it at? Where is it? Hosted? This time, last year we held it at Best Western in Keene. Um, cause it has a big ballroom, but this year it's going to be at the Elks Lodge, uh, which is going to be a lot more alcohol and food friendly. So, wow, awesome. woohoo! People are going to be. Yeah, I think there was a problem last year with people being like, "Oh, you can't ha bring that beer in here," but like, I think this time they don't get to say that. Cool. More freedom. Cool. I was actually talking with Cecilyn about throwing some sort of version of a poly party at the convention. Uh, yeah, so I, I definitely got to talk to Ian uh, about that. Anything that brings full what? match into full key. A what party? A poly party. Oh, it works. Yeah. We should collaborate. For sure. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a new thing that aims for them. The government has no more rights to tell us what they have to say about it and tell us what they have to say about it. After I leave the show, I'm going to get all specified. It's going to take us so long. Right after, as soon as I leave the show, I'm getting all specified. It's going to take us such a long time. I'll look like it. I'll look like it. Cody! Wow, you're famous. I am really such a long time to get ready. I got one on the floor. Just Cody. Do you want to be on for a minute? Okay. Do you want to talk about that? Oh, okay. How did it get solved? Threats of violence? Well, I'm not sure. Wait, what the fuck is that? I guess they're people like... No, I bought that sandwich. Like, you can't just set up on a site that Arts One already has, or one of these other sites that we've I thought I did. What happens? Well, let's do it. I don't have ten dollars. You paid for it. You paid our uh, our trip payments. Oh, you pay up for all the very dang ten. Whoa. She looks better today. All right. Do you have a change for the shirt? One is your dog. I got her just listening. All right. I'm sorry. You find now. See you later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's what Cecilyn kept saying. Yeah, she wouldn't really even look at me. She was like, your face <laughs> is very, so very intense. intense. Everyone was very intense. <laughs> yeah. The whole situation was Oh, trust intense. me, everything was intense for me. Like, everybody's face was just, like, vibrating. <laughs> oh if I looked in, somebody, in somebody's eyes, I'd get, like, more tripped out. Oh, and she'd be like, uh, okay, I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he came up to me a couple oh times. He was like, no, let, let me look in your eyes. And, like, we just kind of <laughs> stared at each other for a second. And I was like, no, I can't do with this. Um, I was actually telling someone about how intense your face looks, and she was like, yeah, I was talking to him, and he just kept staring at me. <laughs> that did happen. You, you, like, scared a few people. You were scaring children. I did scare you. What, Cody, what trucks were you on? I was on MDMA and a little bit of mushrooms. What's that called? Hippie yeah. flipping. Yeah. Hippie flipping. <laughs> I did not literally flip. I, I remember uh, that night we had a... Uh, we had a, uh, yeah. a special moment. Oh, no, oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah. It was magical. Me, oh. you, my room and mistress, we hold hands, we cuddle, we giggle. <laughs> the room was uh, vibrating <laughs> in a very happy vibration. It was, it was I think I was trying to add myself to your relationship a couple times there. You kept doing that throughout the night. I'm pretty sure I was. Yeah, you kept entering. I was making the moves. Yeah, yeah our, our partner Amy was who we were talking about that night. So I was the standing. Yeah. You're the standing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're a special unicorn. The surrogate Amy. That's great. <laughs> yeah, the whole class trip was definitely like a fantastic bonding yeah. experience. Oh, yeah. yeah. Especially the people that jumped in. Yeah. It was where we could be like in the uh, trip as we went, more people kept joining our care Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like they weren't necessarily tripping, they were no, just kind of, well, they, that, that we know they'd, they'd show out. up and whether or not they knew oh, we were yeah. tripping, they just wanted to be part of the fun because it looked like our group was having so much fun. Oh yeah, we were attracting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you were telling me uh, later, because I, I, I kind of bitched out and went to bed, I was like, I'm tired with all of you and you are a caveman drawing, you told me that you, you had like all these, all these people following you. <laughs> yes. Gaining people and losing people, yeah. and everyone was just like, yeah, caveman drawing. I just, yeah, I just got the idea. We had a bunch of chalk with us, and I was like, oh, I just want to grind some chalk into the pavement. I just, like, I felt the urge. See, Harry by the time you were excited about that, I was running out of steam. Yeah. I lasted maybe 15, 20 more minutes, and I was like, give me your flashlight, I'm going home. <laughs> right. Well, I had had a Red Bull just before taking the mushrooms, which was good because it kept me going later, but it was bad because... I started feeling kind of like the, the energy, like the surge of energy, and I was on the mushrooms, and that was kind of freaking me out a little bit near the beginning. But 
I kind of reminded myself, okay, you, know, you had a Red Bull, this is normal, this is okay, you know, and uh, it's good if you're ever like kind of freaking out and you're, you're on some psychedelics, just kind of like talk to yourself or hum or, you know, even sing a song softly and it will feel better instantly. Whisper sweet nothing to someone's ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and of course it's good that I had the whole caravan of people with me, you know. Uh, yeah. It was an That was actually my, uh, my, my first time. Yeah. I actually saw Ian Freeman t uh, turn water into wine. <laughs> and I filmed that too. You did film that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cody was there, Cecil was there. And I filmed Ian Freeman turning water into wine. I'm going to post that on, uh, on the Shire Dude YouTube. Okay. So right after Porch Feast, you can uh, go to ShireDude.com and see that. It was it was a sacred moment for all I know. I just want to see the whole film of you and the uh, geographic art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, is, uh, that was such a trip to have to sit on you guys as we're walking in. Oh, and it's like the best way from yeah. nowhere. Too. Yeah, I know. It just like came out of the woodwork. Like, I'm Carlos <laughs> Morales. I'm drunk. I have a guitar. I got to go. <laughs> that was the most enjoyable song ever. I, I don't think I've ever laughed so hard at a Carlos Morales song. <laughs> right. What were some of the lines he said? Um, Moving to the Free State Project because they'll put up with all kinds. I don't know. It was just, I can't even, I can't even. It was One great. of them was, I read Ayn Rand once and she told me I was awesome or well, something like that. Um, I learned things to talk down to other people. <laughs> yes, um, yes. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I picked that girl one time but she wanted it or something it like was, that. It oh, got really dark it really did. fast. It did. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good time. Did you guys already talk about the poly party? We did. Oh, we did. We talked about it still. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I was only there for about ten minutes. Well, you had more pressing issues to uh, take care of. <laughs> we had a lot going on. You're yeah. welcome, by the way. There was a lot of pressing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There was a lot of like uh, double, double book stuff. I have. I, well, no. I, I always play keyboard with myself. And my my uh, my own mistress and others. Me being another person pushing that, uh, you know, the love. Like here, go for it. Go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was trying to look my little 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 well, well, Feet are dirty. All right. I don't, I, I don't want to get the low dirty. Speaking of stepping in it, have you, seen, have you guys seen the American flag that's been dragged around the porch feast? No. Yeah, uh, Graham Colson has an American flag that he's been dragging around with him. And he's, as the owner of the flag, he's been telling them, uh, he's been telling people around him that uh, they can stomp on it. It's okay. It's his flag. They should get naked guy to sit on it. Oh, oh yeah. I'll There's I'll a photo that, moment. I put that on it. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> That's, a, that's an Instagram, Facebook, uh, PC project moment. A naked guy sitting on a flag. That, that hashtag is, is like this too. Hashtag is like this too. <laughs> it is that best piece. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but Charlie, where, where have you been up to? I haven't seen you in like, it feels like days. Yeah. Our, our journey ended. We split <laughs> up during the trip. Right. I don't know what happened to you. It feels like days since I've seen you. It's yeah, it's kind of a blur for me. I've I've been on something pretty much every day. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. I, I I believe you. Yeah. The last time I saw you, I saw you. You handed me a drink at the Polly party. Right. And then Cecily came over and gave me a uh, a name tag. Which you promptly sucked to your chest, right? And then. No, I thought about putting it on my chest here, but it wasn't drunk or high enough to like go through the pain, so I put it on my shirt instead. So here's the. Like Rob, I know your shirt unbuttons slowly during pork fest, and that's no, how. No, this pork fest has not been slowly. Yeah, last it out. Um, I, yeah, I figured every, out the rest every of the day is a button. Yeah, and every new shirt is a week. <laughs> <laughs> that's pork fest time. Yeah. Yeah, but it's already it's already completely unbuttoned. So. It's, a, it's okay. Cody's taken over for him this year, and he's yeah. slowly, you know, unbuttoning. He's still See, quite, I'm taking he's my doing time. quite the Rob Matthias. He, he's doing the Portuguese pop. There's been so many doubles here this year, like Aunt Daniel getting mistaken for Ian Freeman. <laughs> Cody's been mistaken for Andre Rosa. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. oh like Randy the Sriracha guy's now been mistaken for Luther. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So there's so many doubles here. Yeah. You can't keep them straight. Yeah, see, we gotta get some of those like people together, like in pictures. Like we gotta get a picture of Daniel next to Ian. Is that how big Port Portfest has become? Is that doppelgangers are just coming together somehow? Yeah, so, yeah doppelgangers. It's like a doppelganger. <laughs> Double fest. Double fest. And you know, sometimes we just have people come back from the future. I know. Uh, now, here's the thing. Now, I asked this during the trip. All right, you coined uh, John Redmond as uh, Robert Eisenhower from now, if yeah. from the future. Yeah. Where the fuck is my old mistress? 
you remember? From oh, the no. future. I remember this from the trip. Yeah, I he was had, freaking I, out. I, I, I freaked out. I stared you right in the eye. I'm like, if John Redmond is me from the future, who is helping me out throughout Orkfest, right? It's really weird. All right, it's like as if he came back from the future just to help me. <laughs> Which makes sense. I know. You I would, would love to help your past. Self. Why would I want to help? Exactly. This is a crucial moment in my life. It's I understand really that. <laughs> but if he's back to the future, why did I leave Anne, or why is Anne not here with me? I don't know. I, I told you to ask. Go ask John Redmond. Right. I'm, I'm no, still wondering I'm, why you changed your name. I'm afraid of destroying yeah, the space time continuum <laughs> if I ask him that question. He yeah. cannot know that I know that he's me. If he knows that I'm me, that he's me. I tell you what. If you want to ask him after the show's over, we'll go up. I'll, I'll videotape it. We'll we'll ambush interview him. And uh, I've, I've actually been meaning on doing some of those ambush interviews throughout the rest of Orkfest. Mm -hmm. yeah. I actually have a theory of why you changed your name to John Redmond. It's because you come in and stay, and then you have to go on the ground and hide from them. Because you're Rob Rebel, man. That's yeah, true. I Southwest, southeast. Okay, it's green. It's been chugging along. 
35 years, Can find it? Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment. To Northeast, I got Southeast is really strong here. Well, you're saying Northeast? Uh, let me see. The minimal purchase order for all orders paid. Oh, uh, yeah, no. I'm going to connect to Southeast. Roberts is stronger today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward thinking approach to do Is there any uh, password? Nope. Nope. They keep changing it.
to the Rebel Love Show live here at uh, Pork Fest 2015 here in Lancaster, New Hampshire, and, uh, with this great view looking out the uh, White Mountains, which is a great view for doing the podcast. Yeah, yeah man. Absolutely. Uh, and we got a guest right now. Who's her? This is your guest, dude, so you can introduce him. Yeah, yeah, this guy from uh, Watch My Bit. Is it dot com? Dot com. Dot com. How's it going, man? Good, man. I'm Doug from Watch My Bit, CEO and co founder. Yeah, he just ran into me like right before the show, and he gave me like this really super fast elevator pitch for this Watch My Bit thing, and it sounds phenomenal. It sounds like something I'm going to do in the future. Right. So, uh, give the really brief description of what's Watch My Bit. It is a video platform that's powered by Bitcoin. So if you are an artist, a content creator, and you are hiring to get like, the pennies from YouTube, you can upload a video to our platform, similar way, except now you get to attach a Bitcoin address to it, set your own price, nine cents. You know, micro payments are possible with Bitcoin, not with credit cards. And then people watch it, you get a nine cents per view, we take a cut of that, and you're earning money. It's a crowdfunding platform when you think about it also. Right, yeah, so nine cents would be like the minimum and then is there, is there any maximum? No maximum. If you've got content that yeah. someone's willing to pay $1,000 in Bitcoin, God <laughs> love you, you know? Good for you. Right. <laughs> so we just, uh, we just, we're in a soft launch. We've been live and running since January in beta testing. We have some content up there, including uh, some John Bush video and... Uh, I think I saw Dave Ridley. Dave Ridley's Ridley up there, yep. Yeah. And then, but the big thing is we have a Hollywood partner who put up a sitcom that has never before been seen that Jane Lynch is in, Emmy Award winner Jane Lynch, and Danny Trejo, Machete. That's so cool. Right. Awesome. And they're actually a co-owners of the business. And uh, oh. there'll be a lot more content coming. Redesign is in July, and uh, we have a, another cool announcement. We just partnered with Domo Records, which is an international record label that is headquartered in Los Angeles and in Tokyo. Uh, they represent worldwide artists multiple Emmy winning artists. They'll be moving their content over too. So we'll see use cases skyrocketing and uh, we're going after YouTubers. Yeah. Not Bitcoin, although God love them too, we, you know, we need them. But YouTubers especially because YouTube doesn't pay creators very much. No. Not very much. And we are the uh, uh, premier polyamorous anarchist show on YouTube. Well, yeah, as far as the liberty <laughs> movement goes, I mean, the show we do back in Manchester, we have like a green screen set up. And wow. Like, crazy trippy stuff going on in the background. We've got professional style lighting. I think we might be one of the most visually appealing shows coming out of the Shire. Yeah, after, for, for the Shire, absolutely. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And you guys are probably going, well, we spent a lot of money on this, and uh, yeah. we're volunteers, and how do we make any money? So and the, you don't have to use my platform exclusively either. We're not asking you to say you can only be on Watch My Bit. So how about this for an idea? You put your show up on Watch My Bit a week early. Tell your super fans, hey, come watch it for nine cents a week early. Then move it to YouTube for free a week later for those who don't have Bitcoin or don't want to go through that. But those who support you and love you will pay nine cents to watch your content. I mean, that's a great model for like, you know, the Shire Dude episodes that I produce. Yeah. Yeah. I've been thinking about that. I've also been thinking about, you know, us actually releasing like bonus content. Yeah. We need to make more bonus content. And having some sort of system for that. You right. Know? And, yeah. and then on your YouTube videos, you say, hey guys, Check out our bonus content on this platform over here, or embed it into your own website. You can't see this on YouTube, it's only available for 14 cents on Watch My Bit. And your fans, super fans we call them, yeah. the, the, what you guys got going on though is you got a lot of Bitcoin people already. Yeah. So you're not yeah. persuading people to get Bitcoin, that's a turtle we're going to have to face and we understand that. But you already got Bitcoiners in your audience. I would imagine everyone that listens to the show has Bitcoiners from Oh, audience. certainly, ah, certainly. If not, then they're not. A and, and then Doug and, I were, yeah, <laughs> Doug and I were talking about before the show how on YouTube, if you're watching a YouTube video and it says, oh, you can see part two, but you have to pay Bitcoins, it's actually getting YouTubers into Bitcoin that right. way. Yeah. Right, yeah. so think about that. Um, there's a couple of models we're going after, but one of them is, of course, part one of your show, and then a cliffhanger, <laughs> yeah. and you can only see part two on, on Watch My Bit for 14 cents, 29 cents. So It's a good look. I know, and then and then you've got people. It's worth it for them to find the Bitcoin and figure it out. And now we have increased the Bitcoin universe. Right. Well, I'm all in favor of getting more people to use Bitcoin. I try to do that in my own daily life. Right. Exactly. 
So here's another idea um, that the reason we're, we're really not going after the Bitcoin crowd, although please, Bitcoiners are important. If we can get a couple of YouTube people to try our platform, and just say, hey, if you're going to get $200 a month from, from YouTube, try our platform. I'll give you $200. And then if you make more than $200 on my platform, then just give it back to me. But now I might get, my gamble is you'll get way more than $200 if you push it to your audience enough. Is what my kid is that an Android app or an iPhone app? It is a website and it's, it is mobile friendly though. Um, and it's, it's going to be changing and morphing. We're going to have actual tappable QR codes. Right now, mobile only, a little clunky. Yeah. Our, our model is pointed at your screen to, to transfer Bitcoin value to the video you want to watch. But uh, like I said, redesign in three weeks and that'll all be there. Okay. Because uh, I mean, most of the time I'm always in front of a, a smartphone or a tablet. Yeah. I'm rarely ever actually in front of a computer. I have a computer screen right now right, right. in front of me. But I'm rarely ever actually in front of a uh, computer screen as it is. I normally do use like that. Yeah. I'm always on Android. So but anytime someone tells me about like a service or a feature or something like that, along, whatever it is, like who is there? Like, some sort of app that goes along with my phone besides yeah. the most browser. Well, here's our plan. We, we just talked with um, Rossoff from Mycelium. And, and uh, I learned about the magic of BIP70, which is the merchant payment channel. So our mobile. Um, experience will be great. It'll be, here's the video you want to watch, tap the QR code, I see you have a Mycelium wallet, and everything's filled in automatically. Beautiful, yeah. Pay video launches. This has actually been my first experience using a Mycelium wallet. It doesn't have to be Mycelium. I know, no, yeah. I just, I literally just downloaded oh. that uh, at the beginning of the week, because I, I finally gave up on blockchain. I've been meaning yeah, to switch myself. I switched yes. off, and I'm yeah. like, you yeah. know what? Like it wasn't working, and it took me an hour to finally get my blockchain to actually recognize like yeah. my accounts. I'm like, you know what? I'm transferring. To, I, I use two phones because I have a, a work phone, so I was able to transfer easily, just scanning mm -hmm. QR codes left and right. And my ceiling blows blockchain. Yeah, uh, I agree. I, God love you know Mandrick wherever he is. I wish he was here. But uh, I, I'm, I, I haven't used blockchain for years. <laughs> yeah. You know, no, it's crazy. Is uh, mycelium like uh, incorporates NFC? So uh, J Love, I don't know if you met J. Have you met J Love yet? I don't know. She's an activist in Manchester, but she's running the Bulletproof Coffee. Oh yes, yeah, so I know. She like Shire Co-op and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah she has uh, besides the, her QR code, she has an NFC chip on all of her. Uh, all of the displays that she's doing both with coffee. So I'm literally just like tapping my phone against like the, the sign and I'm like, it brings up my ceiling automatically. It has the, the amounts, Whoa. I just hit send. It's beautiful. I don't oh. have to scan the QR code. That's like the Apple next level stuff. Yeah. That's down my ceiling. Yeah, I'm if going. you go into the grass fed yeah. area, yeah. the grass fed um, revolution. Uh, Grass Star Revolution uh, booth, yeah. they have a, 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 a bulletproof coffee stand mm -hmm. right there right. as well. Yep. It has the old, uh, has an NFC chip right at the top, just tap here with your uh, Bitcoin wallet, boom, really? it, it's instant, it brings up everything. That's so cool. And it's instantaneous, I'm like, that's better than actually scanning the QR codes, I'm just tapping my phone on it, right? I gotta say too, this port fest has been the best uh, uh, internet uh, port fest Yes. Which isn't saying much, because it still sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been spotty throughout the week, because I know they've been adjusting it throughout the week, but I've been getting really good internet all day long. I'm actually in the uh, LRN.FM chat room, so if you go to chat.lrn.fm, you can uh, ask us anything, and I'll be able to see it right on my phone right in front of me. That's beautiful. Normally, yeah. we have a, uh, we got video going on the website, which we've got video going right now, but it's going to be on the YouTube channel, and hopefully... Uh, on Watch, Watch My Bit, yeah. yeah we'll hey! Try, we'll try it out. Would you, people in the audience, wouldn't you pay 9, 10, 13, 14 cents to help these guys out at Rebel Love? I mean, come on, man. And then maybe they'll give it to you for free in a month or so or a week. But in the meantime, watch this video and you're good to go. That'd be uh, fantastic. Or you can just send us some Bitcoin and let us uh, go buy a pint at Murphy's. That'd be happy with that too. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I'll show you the, the, the interface. Statement. This decision appears to be based on an unprecedented... Right now. ...the government might not like. 
Did this fight now to save your life? Okay, we're checking your story now. Snitches, informers, informants. I wasn't trying to impress you on the app. I was just letting you know that. No, that's true. Yeah, I was getting my aging and killing to your wife. Yes, it's a short one. I was in mobile app. I don't know. 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 So the protection of life, liberty, and property is very important. It's an effort to move 20,000 people to understand the right about Scan the QR code to your iPhone. That video will launch. It's a free market, a truly free market. It's just a free place to live. It's the words of the list. It's 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 yeah, we're probably going to edit it. Yeah, yeah, we like we're gonna edit it. Yeah, we have like, we have a Especially since it's a war fest. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we have the video separate. Yeah, we have to splice the audio. Yeah, we'll, we'll make an account yeah. as soon as we get home. When you're ready. Yeah, yeah man. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Hey, Cody, you want to jump back on? I want, I want to hear your trip. I want to know what your life has been like since you've been in my uh, presence. You can't win if you don't enter, and you actually can improve your chances of winning a prize drawn sure. if you ripple off yeah, your entry blank. I'm Holland Cook from survivalspeech.com, and I speak from experience. Hey, this works. If they'll be spinning the drum before drawing, your entry blank will move out more than, and not adhere to it, other perfectly flat entry blanks. And if they don't spin the drum and merely reach into a box full of other perfectly flat entry blanks, many of which are sticking, yours will feel different to the person reaching in. When you win, act surprised. And if you're looking for work, like, this is a metaphor. For more on tips on sticking uh, out that'd be in the world, that'd be awesome. just <laughs> too much glimpses <laughs> into the blog. Because I, I actually don't even want to start on YouTube. Like, you need to get tens of millions of views for it to actually be any money. The three I, three I've, I've come to the conclusion that it's really not even worth it. It's not. If you're a kid, in a couple hundred kids. If you're just annoying them with advertisements about it, yeah, it's going to make them like you less. But that would totally suck if you went viral and didn't monetize. It would. It's my it firm belief that the Anchor Brand is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented groups. Support all your favorite organizations. Okay, when we get home. Make sure you get five bucks a month. We get set up Amazon affiliate. Um, first on IO for our show. We should have said that all the time. I think we've all had enough of that jingle, don't you? If you're going to invest in property in New Hampshire, yeah, it just makes that. sense to support a liberty-friendly sure. realtor. Call Mark Warden at Team Porcupine Real Estate for investment property or rentals in the state. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, you, you know. You don't know get a bug every time you're looking for them. Oh, you're always in the bug. Just part of the deal. And I've asked the chat next. Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. Howie's not shows.lrn.fm. Oh, you've never ran into Howie. Welcome back to the Rubble Up Show. We are here live at. Uh, Fork Fest 2015 here at Lancaster, New Hampshire. And uh, Cody O'Kana, uh, there it is. Uh, O'Kana. Oh, I'm trying to be a local here. I'm trying to enunciate the, uh, pro the proper way for the name of Is it O'Kana? You're doing all right. Really? Yeah, I guess we all probably right? say Cody O'Kana. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to pick up the local uh, lingo. 
It's weird that everybody in my family talks that way, and I'm the only one who just like just sounds like a guy. Yeah, you sound like a normal human being. Yeah, I I somehow Sometimes. escaped talking incorrectly. No, if I listen to your show, the the, the drunker you get, the more New Englander you sound. Is that true? It is true. You start. That's that gotta be a thing, because my roommate Lee is originally from England, and he actually, which I think is stupid, he learned how to speak like an American. But when he gets really drunk, the, the British comes out of him. But uh, I really think he should have kept with English. That's cool, man. Why would you lose that? No, absolutely. Especially if you're in a different location. You want to keep your, uh, your lingo. Your, That's how you uh, stay unique. Yeah, yeah. I want to sound like everybody you're, else. You're exotic. So all the women or men in the area, they'll, they'll flock to you because you're unique in that area. Mysterious. Accents are hot, man. I'll tell you. How do you think Carlos Morales looks like? Well, yeah, he's super exotic, right? He's, right? He's exotic in the shire. He shows up in a bar in, in Manchester, New Hampshire. He's like the only slightly darker shade of, of whatever color that is, you know, and uh, he sweeps them off their feet. Yeah. 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 He's also got that whole stubble theory of his. Yeah, that stubble theory. <laughs> See, I'm super pale, so I just cover my face with hair. <laughs> and I think that might help a little bit. Well, you're, you're, happenstance, you have to be in New England. Uh, the beard is a great look in New England. The beard is in. The beard is in here. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it works Apparently perfectly. the new thing is dyeing your beard very, very bright colors. Like uh, hot pink, bright blue. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. I, I know a guy who did that. He gets laid all the time. I don't know how. <laughs> he's got, he's got a, a big, burly, like, hipster mustache that's bright blue. And, and he's covered in like kitten tattoos. I don't understand that at all. It's crazy. So, uh, Cody, you've been here for the last like, two days now? I don't know. I Since, don't know Wednesday. Since Wednesday. Since yep. Wednesday. What has what your pork fest been like? What is your, uh, your experience? Well, if, if we want to start back at Wednesday again, because I think that's what it's always going to come back to, <laughs> not only was that my best pork fest experience, I think that might have been the best night of my life. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm really serious about that. Holy crap, was that fun. That was yeah. a fun night. We were giggling for no reason. Like, every time Anne was giggling and crying, it just made me break out laughing. Yeah. It was so great to have everybody around, because once somebody started laughing, it was, it was, it was like a chain reaction. Yeah, it was contagious. Everyone yeah. starts breaking out laughter. We're like, literally, we'd move like we five. We didn't have to know why. We would go five feet. And then we were just stopped. It took us like, what, four hours to actually walk the entire uh, campground at one point. I remember at one point we almost lost Cecilyn because she stopped walking while the yeah. train was moving. And you went to go rescue her and she was just like, but the colors. Yeah, she was just <laughs> caught like a deer in headlights. It was great. <laughs> yeah. And then the, uh, the whole uh, Bill Domenico lights. Like you, uh, you had a field day. Oh, I had a fun yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wanted to touch it. And when we were down in the field, I couldn't reach. I was jumping. I was like, ah, yeah. So we came up top, and I like waved through it. So it looked like I was waving at the building. Yeah. I was like, hi, pork fest. I mean, porch feast. Porch feast. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know how that started? The whole porch feast joke. No. How did that even start? Somebody messaged me on Facebook. Somebody who was like one of my like Liberty friends, but I have no idea who this is in real life. Messaged me about getting a site, and he uh, it was a typo. He's like, hey. Hey Shire dude, how do I get a how do I get a site at Porch Feasts? And I didn't really respond because I didn't really know this person, and I'm not in charge of that whole thing. And you could really just ask on the Porch Fest group at that point. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's just been a joke ever since. <laughs> and the typo, and like that was that was the running joke certainly when we were all tripping. Together. Oh, it became the entire night. I thought, yeah. it, became, I thought <laughs> it started as a joke because we were just hanging out in front of Cecilyn's uh, <laughs> hotel room. Yeah, yeah. That, guess, that was kind of like a porch. That, yeah, I guess that was kind of like a porch. I, kind of I did at one point have my own makeshift porch, which was yours and Cecilyn's knees. Yes, yes, there was a lot of laps sitting. There was a lot That's of because you're a green uh, polyamorous, you had to have two laps. You right. sit on one person's lap. <laughs> we were running out of laps. Yes, I'm single and polyamorous. Is You're that... solo poly. <laughs> solely poly. I believe solo that's poly. Solo, solo poly. poly. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a, Almost that's said solely poly. Yeah, yeah. You went to the poly party, right? Yeah, for like 10 minutes. Yeah, you had success there. I it was did. A great I, party did. For you. I did. Wow. 10 minutes of the poly party, and then you. That's all it took. Wow. That's a successful party. 
So should he move the match at this point? He's already. He's already there it comes. The he's got it. Here it comes. Jay, you're tripping. You're having success at the volley party. Oh, see, this is our daily life. We do this all the time. We're bringing you into the fold. For the <laughs> too, this is our normal day to day. Yeah, I, you'd be like a and hero in Manchester. You would be. You'd be like the rock. I like how all of the different activists have different ways they're trying to chip at me. Like you guys are like, dude, you're gonna trip. You're gonna get laid. Liberty. I talked yes. to Ian earlier, and he was like. Hey, maybe they're hiring at the Manchester Radio Group. <laughs> Everyone's just trying to like piece my new life together and help me out. It's already here, man. It's already. Here. I do feel very wanted. Yeah, certainly. Well, get that. Well, you're one of the last LRN of people out there to like come here. Well, I know everyone who hasn't moved yet. They have that checklist of things they want to get done before they move. So what what triggers the Cody? Yeah, what would it take? <sighs> See, the last time I made a promise like that, I. Totally broke it. Last time it was when Cecily moves to Manchester, oh, which, she has, which, which she has done, to wow. and I totally never moved. <laughs> Have you even signed the intent? No. God damn. I don't. I don't sign things usually. Try not to do that too often. It's so anarchist of you. I know. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, uh, arguably the intent to move. If you like intend to move and then change your mind later. You still the statement of intent, like signing that, is still like a legit thing. You know, if you if you're like 51 percent sure, you're like, oh yeah, I'm most likely gonna move. That qualifies as intent in my mind, and I think yeah, I, I think you should sign definitely. And they're not gonna track me down if I change my mind. Right, it's no, not they're like not gonna, gonna make me do it. Some like porcupine squad. So uh, I'll you know. just remember forever that you let like, me first thing down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I'm doing my part, though, because even if I don't go, I'm helping to trigger the move, and it makes everybody else come, even if I don't. But you live like a, you're like an hour away. I you're know. Like right, you're like right there. You're I've like been right I've there. been the toughest person for you to convince, for no reason. <sighs> and every time I come to these events, I'm like, I'm like I get really happy about doing it, and then like two weeks go by, and I'm like I'm comfy in Maine. <laughs> It's like, what, I don't know. I don't know what happens. You know, like Phoenix. Phoenix was here like for the last four months, and he's going home. And you miss those experiences being here. I know. You know what? Maybe uh, when I take my winter vacation, maybe I'll spend a week up here. Wait, wait, you're, you're telling me you're not going to move, but you're going to come here when it's the coldest it is. And I don't know. Spend that time. It's a good preview, right? You should experience that. Yeah, I totally. I agree. mean, you're going to have to at some point. Yeah. But then it's, I'm in Manchester and it's not during an event necessarily, so it's like, well, every there's night what it would be. Every night well, it's not pork fest, it's, you know, outside of it. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Break. Sure. All right. Hey, Jeff, how's it going? You're an artist. All right. We were talking about you earlier. You're a hero. You're a hero. You're a hero. You guys want. Yeah, we have two segments left. They're each like 10 minutes. Yeah. You want to do it? Do they both want to get on? That's cool. Yeah. I'm down for a struggle. Do you have enough mic and headphones? What? We don't have a fourth We don't have a fourth headset, but we do have a fourth mic. As long as you kind of like keep real close on it. Great. Hey. Okay. Hey. Well, I don't yeah. care. So yeah. As long as they're all yeah. 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 in yeah. the yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, I brought it out to the big center table and fired it up. I know, I would take a picture, but it was a <laughs> Yeah, no, no, we got it all set up and running. Yeah, that's why it took me so long. Sorry, we were running it for a while so everybody could. Awesome. So I'll set up to you. Hopefully, they Good, that is awesome. You are. This charger's not working in my phone for some reason. Why do you bring your other battery That one wasn't working today. Oh, it's probably wired. It's like What? No, it's a Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I got the way. Beautiful man. Watch it for free and order the director's cut DVD at victimlesscrimesfree.com. I definitely want to hear what you like with the last couple days. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? I don't want to talk about the laws of There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You, you have a federal alternative right? available. No, we didn't. We money, called it. it use it, people it. Lose Get started with like Bitcoin at usepays.com. Like, okay, well, that's the most that point with how it works. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know, after five minutes, everybody's using it. Yeah, it was a full house. Yeah. No, that was great. And at this number two book. I just wanted to share their writing and let everyone kind of see that. It's a long distance call. So make sure you're familiar with your phone's calls. The Liberty Radio Network listen lines are locked into our stream. No, I was going to set up the camera for the second part. Two one three four nine three zero three zero nine. That's two one three four nine three zero three zero nine. Are you suffering with hearing loss? Are you sick of people constantly complaining that your TV is too loud? Are you tired of asking people to speak up? Would you like to hear more clearly, but you don't know what your hearing aid that makes you look old? Then you need to try and listen clear. A life-changing breakthrough precisely designed by top audio engineers to fit your ear almost invisibly. And you can just listen clear to find the perfect way to hear everything, wherever you are, and whatever you're doing. And right now you can try listen clear absolutely risk-free with free shipping. We'll even give you free batteries for life. So call now. What is it? Nine four zero five nine five seven. Listen clear is oh, like the, like the, the, the hassle and it's practical and visible. Call for your 100% risk-free home trial with free shipping and free batteries for Yes, you can get an update on that. For information, call now. 1-800-940-957. That's one 800 940 if you enjoy it, I'll run that FM. I mean, it would have taken them a while to get a tow truck out to tow his car, so they actually drove it. That's damn.lrn.fm. Welcome back to the Rebel Up Show. We got two, uh, two guests now. Uh, we're playing like musical chairs with the guests on this one. I love it. Poor Fest, you got to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, we got uh, Veronica Scotty and Lou Perdowski both uh, here on uh, the mics. How's it going, guys? Couldn't be better. I'm at Pork Fest. What do you think? Absolutely. I love it. It's amazing. Yeah, this has been this has been my favorite Pork Fest. Now, Veronica, this has been your first Pork Fest. You were on for a couple seconds. Uh, it feels like five or six or a week ago, uh, days ago, uh, since you were left. You're only on a couple segments. But how's your Pork Fest been the last week? Uh, it's been amazing, you know, uh, trying to get open carry passed, everybody in Texas, everybody kept telling us that it was going to be bedlam and, and it was going to be the Wild West and there's going to be shootouts, you know, at every turn. Here I am at Pork Fest. It is the most peaceful, loving, wonderful time and a, at least a quarter of the people are open carrying everywhere. I keep, like, poking my head out from around the corner waiting for that Wild West moment, you know, but it, it's not. Everybody is is just having a great time and enjoying freedom. Is this more open carry than you see in New uh, Hampshire? I mean, uh, in Texas? Yeah, well, I mean, the only open carry that we can legally do right now are long guns. I mean, unless you count the events where I have a couple thousand people carrying their ARs around, but as far as pistol carry, no. I mean, that doesn't go into effect until January yeah, 1st. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, Luke? How's, uh, how's your week? I mean, I mean, what else can you say? I mean, you got all these amazing, beautiful, freedom-loving human beings here at all in one place, just coming together and it's just a just a unique kind of energy that you don't feel anywhere else it's like the burning man of of freedom and it's it's done in a wholly different way but it has that same kind of spirit that same kind of vibe and it's just been incredible being able to talk to individuals hang out with them enjoy just all the abundance of so many different things that you can get into here uh, like for me like I, to be perfectly honest I don't even come here anymore for the, for the talks you know I went to Mirage talk a couple other talks but uh, I come here just to socialize, just to see other people, you know. There's, we have people here from around the country in the globe, and it's, like it's this opportunity just to hang out, chill, relax, have a good time, and every day is just an adventure. You can't, 
like if you're if you're scheduling, if you need to know that you need to do something on their side of the campground, you literally have to plan like an hour in advance to do so because otherwise you're always going to get pulled. You're going to get pulled away by somebody yeah. or something. Always. Yeah, like it's how pork fest rolls. Vortex, vortex. Yeah, there's no yeah. way of getting from one side to another side without stopping at least twenty times and talking to individuals and seeing all the new incredible things that they're doing. Whether it's all the ATMs here or the vending machines or just the stickers, the shirts, and all the other innovative things that are coming forth here. So Murdoch, I know you're based in Texas. Uh, Luke, I, I'm not sure where are you based from? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out myself. <laughs> I mean, I, I have family in New York City, but I've really just been all over the place, to be honest right. with you. You'd always have a home in Manch. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 It is now. Are right. you getting yeah. a lot of pressure on people saying, hey, when are you going to come to New Hampshire and make that home base? Or? Well, I signed up. I, I told people I signed up. Yeah. Uh, but right now, like, it, it's been my life has been so hectic and so insane. I've only been uh, you know, with my family in New York City for four weeks out of this entire year. Wow. So, so it's really difficult to kind of find any kind of home base when I don't have one. New Hampshire is beautiful here, especially during the summer, the mountains, the air, the people surrounding it. I mean, I'm just, I just have nothing bad to say about and it. And you go to like a ton of Liberty festivals and whatnot. Oh yeah, yeah, a bunch yeah. of them all the time. And so how does, how does Pork Fest compare to the other ones? I mean, I have to say, I, I am a little bit biased, Acapulco. And our Capuco I heard that was, was cool. amazing. Yeah, like, it was one of the best ones. This one, I think, definitely comes in close second. Uh, but this one has a totally different vibe into it. It's not really just a conference. It's, it's more of just this huge kind of festival of, of, of liberation, of, of freedom. Well, coming what, in together. What's crazy here at Pork Fest is we get this like, combination of all these different like backgrounds and groups. Like you got the open carry people, you got the, the hippies and the stoners, you got the preppers, you got like the transhumanists with the Bitcoin huge tent and the blow thing and whatnot. It's like, and it's all within like an eyesight of all these, of everyone in, in, uh, in the uh, vicinity. Like it's everything right there, yeah. and it's such a broad like uh, tent where you always see everyone from all these different scopes of life. But, they're all here together. I have been trying my best to find that that thread that ties all these people into one category. Like, how would you explain? Well, what kind of person did you run into at Pork Fest? And there's no other real way. The only common thread is is freedom, and liberty. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it, it's fascinating. Where like you know, freedom means it's something different to every human being that's here. Like everyone like does something different. You know, like yeah, you're you push open carry. Like I. I'm, for me, a lot of times when I'm like the big activism that I do is uh, you know foundation for national independence, secession, and whatnot. But it's like two completely different things. But we're on the same page. We're on the, we have the same philosophical agreement. We're just we're doing what we think that we can do toward different objectives. Yeah, and you the know? big difference between you know this type of uh, festival and say a, uh, maybe a Burning Man is everyone that you talk to here has has something to say, has an opinion, and has a well thought out philosophy in life, you know. There's some people that hadn't quite got there, but we have plenty of classes that are that are helping people. They're, they're, they're determined to find that though. They're, you know, they're looking for it. Well, uh, they're not just here to party. And actively doing something and organizing together to actually accomplish something, not just, you know, sitting around and talking about right. it as well. Yeah, well, absolutely. Well, I mean, that's kind of what the internet is. Like, you know, for me, a lot of times, a lot of people that come here, they're coming here for the first time. And uh, well, people that don't already live in New Hampshire, a lot of people have lived there multiple times, but I've run some multiple people, and this is their first time. And most of their interaction with people that are like minded is on the internet. Like, that's, that's their normal day to day is dealing with people on the internet. They're not in real life. But like for me and Shire do here, but we're always talking to people that think like this. We're surrounded by people that think like this 24 7. Yeah. This, we live this 24 7. We can home the pork fest. You know, this is just right. like, this is a weekend excursion for us. Yeah. <laughs> that, happens, that happens to go for over a week. Yeah, you know, we've gone years talking on the internet, and and that's how it is, you know, in kind of the activist world in other parts, you know, you, you just have all the, all of this network across the country, and, you know, I show up in New Hampshire, and the first thing I want to do is, like, Shire, dude, you're real. <laughs> they, like, kind of poke over you. You really are a real person. <laughs> well, it's weird, like, I, I've been talking to you about for, uh, well, I, I, I you were in track. Chicago. When yeah, I was in Chicago when I was when first started like, before I even moved here. So like, my life has changed. Yeah, oh, man, I yeah, I have I have witnessed from afar uh, a, a radical change from from uh, Chicago life to Port Yeah, Fest, there's another Tumantis. there's another uh, guy here from Texas named Sterling. Both of you, it's weird. Both of you are like uh, people I've been talking to before on Facebook before I moved here. 
uh, for a long period of time. And uh, well, they had witnessed like this like change, like from when I lived there, like my mood and my trend set. I don't know what the hell is this evolution. It's a trip. I remember watching uh, Luke Radowski's uh, like ambush interview videos on YouTube. You know, when I lived back in California. And now that I'm here at Port Fist, I, I've noticed there's a lot of potential for that. Like a lot of like Liberty lovers that I want to kind of sneak up on an ambush interview just for just for kicks. <laughs> yeah. Have you gotten that urge, Luke, to sneak up on someone and film them? You know, like uh, ask him some hard hitting Liberty question. I don't know. I wouldn't even know what to ask. I, mean, I, 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 I won't lie. The thought crossed my mind. I'm like, yeah. okay, what am I going to get into here? Who am I going to get right now? But like, honestly, it's like, oh, yeah, non-aggression, fits where everyone agrees on the same thing, freedom, love, and liberty. It's like, oh, yeah, I got nothing to even to question you about. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So he's shy dude here. You get it. He yeah. had a great, did you do this? Pain, 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 label. I, I haven't done any of my ambush interviews yet, so Can't I don't talk know. About it? I mean, I guess we could talk about it, sure. I mean, it's, it, he wanted the hit of all the celebrities, all right? And yeah, okay, so the idea was, uh, that idea, and I, I got a ton of them. You still got to do it. From our Wednesday trip experience, I, I wrote down a ton of ideas. Uh, one of them was going up to celebritarians, like uh, Adam Kokesh, for one, because Adam and I have never actually spoken together, like we've never been introduced, and, and uh, interview him as if I have no idea who he is. And so I just go, hey, can I interview you real fast? And he'll be like, yeah, because he's a nice guy. And I'll go, Hey, uh, so is this your first pork fest? Mm -hmm. And ask all these like nice little bullshit questions. I think that'd be really funny. I could do that to a few people too who I haven't met yet. I would watch that. And then at the end, be like, ask him his name. Oh, what was your name again? I gotta get the first and last. Koresh, was it Koresh? You know, C or K. I don't know. Yeah, that'd be really, really entertaining. Well, there's a bunch of we could see should do that. Yeah, some good shire dude content. Jeffrey Tucker and. Well, Jeffrey Tucker and I, we go back, he knows yeah. me, yeah. But he would play along anyways. He played along on the ocean. He did play along, yeah, yeah. Just put on a fake mustache. Yeah, or a non-mustache. Yeah. Do they have a bald cap for mustaches? That's a great idea, yeah. They should. <laughs> All right, more pork fest when we come back, guys. If I had the money, I'd take every. You know that, right? I take the I take the bees. I take the bees. I take the bees. What is it? What's happening? Uh, that was that was a week before the daily news and commentary on the website of FPP.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news and like, uh, commentary in the FPP uh, uh, Three Minutes and Peace Love Liberty Radio at FPPRadio.com and the monthly newspaper FPP News at News.FPP.cc. Yeah. 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 Very porch feasts. <laughs> Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't satisfy them. So what will? Liberty on the rocks. We believe the answer is living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarians. Oh yeah, go with Daisy Dukes. Daisy Dukes, the pockets hanging down. Maybe. Uh, actually, <laughs> actually, I just have to stick my head in because the uh, the last bit I've got to go do all the stage prep for the computer software. Yeah, so I'll stick my head in. When is it? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, oh yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like by nine or ten, I've got to be over getting all the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Shop.lrm.fm. Get all your shopping done. You gotta go all over the campsite, get the lights over there, and do this and that. You know how walking across the short fest. It takes forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, theoretically, it should take five minutes. We're bringing people to the end of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars what, like what shows are coming up tonight? You guys really uh, free top live. What else? I have no idea. I'm gonna get a lot of 
Oh, they're coming up right after? No, they're recording. Yeah, yeah they, they set up their own. Um, I really want to go to Carlos. Trash. Random people cheating on the radio. Where's that music? Where should we get that from? Is it a little track on 38? It's so good. What is it? It's I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on the stage for VR, I never would have found the idea. Isn't that good? That would be a test to directly change more lives by getting free talk live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the internet. You can help by joining the AMP program for just five dollars a month at AMP. So you're rolling. Oh yeah, works. That's AMP. Don't confuse me here, guys. So you want to ease into it as soon as we leave, so you can buy it. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to be like, you want to be like, yeah. 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 you want to get the issue? Oh, it's a good thing. Yeah. 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 Plus, if you're a oh, yes, VR, 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 this is a good delivery method okay, for our yeah. content. It's just going to take me a while. And get details. Which is tomorrow. And you also want to be ready. Yeah, I guess it's 730. Yeah. New Hampshire is under quarantine. He's walking corpses devouring the fresh of the world right here. Max is 11 years old and surviving Wait, alone. It's not a substance Slow moving and no right? Right? Is it it's a I feel like it's a good time. Five dollars. Oh, it's a trip to your house. It's so good. So good. Talk to him. 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 Read the great news on Amazon or read chapter one at survivormax.com. Survive, what, babe? I'm getting that. We came up here just so you could have some. That's so nice. I don't know what campsite is that. 38. How far away? It's the people that had the pizza. Oh, no, they suck. But they Welcome back to the Rebel Love Show here. And uh, Live from Porch Feast. Por yeah, Porch Feast, Poly Fest, Pork Fest, Anarchy Camp. Anarchy Camp. All that fun jazz. And uh, now uh we're not going to loop. Are you guys going to be dressing up for a big gay dance party tonight? I need a costume, man. You guys got to hook me up or something. Well, what do you want? What do you I want? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, all, I'm, sure we can I'm open to anything right now. I think I'm, I'm sure think we got body uh, paint or something for body you. Body paint could work. I'm not dressing up. I'm undressing. You're undressing. Well, that, that is dressing up. Yeah, the less the better. That's true. All right, Just okay. body paint. That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, the more nudity, the better. You are, yeah, um, yeah. And, uh, there was a guy earlier today. He's a hero of mine. I don't know what his name is. He was in the room earlier, Jeff, the naked, the naked yeah, man. Yeah, the naked dude. I, I wanted to get him up here for a segment, but he, he looks like he's sprung away. Yeah, off yeah. to Off to uh, be heroic elsewhere. Hey, free to tits, free the balls. Yeah. You know, if oh, we walk around top. Oh, that guy there was, yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> so, so I'm wondering if for the big gay uh, dance party I can wear that, the pouch. Have you seen that? The pouch? That apparatus. Oh. It's yeah. like it's like a little gold pouch. You know, you expect a hobbit to be carrying, but it just uh, cinches up around the junk. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea. What, what have you been to? googling? You know, last week I took that adult uh, search filter thing off Google, and things have been popping up. Are you just trying to confuse yeah. the NSA? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're trying to do? Right there? Is that how you're getting through the body scan? Is where I'm at? That's your block. Um, but no, I, I'm excited about it. We're we're dressing up. We're gonna win. Me and my little mistress right there. We're gonna as soon as we leave the uh, ten minutes, we're gonna be uh, as soon as the show's over. We're yeah. Now we're gonna spend the next couple hours getting ready, uh, pre gaming. Heavily pre gaming. Oh, heavily pre gaming. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't you can't do the big gay dance party so you, you gotta be intoxicated. You gotta wonder though, because this is the last big gay dance party. You gotta wonder what's gonna take its place in the future. Another gay dance party. I mean, I know people have asked Derek J to take up the torch, and he's actually declined, saying it's too much pressure. And I feel like it's, it's a lot of pressure to top this after six years of successful big gay dance parties. What I'm, comes next? I'm sure someone will pick up the reins. That's not going to happen. Someone yeah. Will do it. That's not, that's not, I mean, some, there's always different organizers for pork fest. It's not the same organizer for pork fest. True. And it always seems to come together. Even in the last one, it's yeah. spontaneous order. Right, right. That, that is the world we live in. So, uh, but uh, Luke, you're, you're here, you travel everywhere. So you're always around the world. 
Uh, what's the what's some of the craziest things that you've witnessed in the last year? Just the last, just the last year alone. Oh man, that that is like a loaded question. I mean, so many things. I mean, I it's just been an incredible, insane, like synchronistic journey with whatever I even like think of just appears right in front of me. Like I I've been in like insane situations with uh, Jeff Berwick from from Chile to Mexico and Germany and, and Austria and Prague and Berlin and, and that man is wild. That man knows how to have a good time. So so he, he's he been taking me around a lot of times and uh, ah, damn, that, I mean, Burning Man was just insane experiencing that for the first time uh, a few months ago. That was very transitional uh, part of my life. Uh, I, I think the story that I'm going to be launching soon is going to be one of the most wildest ones. Um, in Austria recently, there was a brothel owner pro uh, protesting the high taxes that they have in Austria that they, because they were shutting out his business and setting up more regulations. So he had a night of free sex and free alcohol for everybody. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, that was just a few days ago. Me, Jeff Berwick, Dan Dix of PressForTruth.ca, we heard about the story from another journalist. We were there. Uh, we bright and early, we became friends with the owner, and he gave us like an exclusive, exclusive, exclusive video. So that's gonna that's gonna be a video coming on YouTube.com forward slash We Are Change, and it's gonna be a wild one. But uh, they get very creative there in Europe, and they're very free with uh, their sexuality as well. well. That's one thing I wish kind of was a thing here in the United States. Even even in pork class, it seems a little like people are conservative in some fashion or another. I, I scared a family at one point. Tell them about all the adult things they can do, like the strip club and like do drugs anywhere and stuff like that. And it's like I scared them for the drugs. It's tough. The, yeah, the problem I feel is uh, the actual like Free State Project Inc. You know, the official organization wants to market uh, the Free State Project to families. Certainly, it definitely is a family event. I won't say it's not. They don't market it to the fringe, and so I, I feel like families can show up to Porkfest just seeing that marketing and not really knowing like what to expect. And um, so, uh, you know, I don't want it to be like a false advertising thing where these families show up and they feel like they've, they've got this bait and switch thing. Well, you know? I, I mean, one thing for us, we, we've coined the phrase that we are a full man. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So like whenever I'm in public, and you're here, like I'm, I'm living my life. Yeah. You know, Murdoch's there. You, you see me living my life, I don't know. I don't know if you can attest to that. Uh, I've seen quite a bit of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't care what like the, the whole naked ass. Yes. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. We're, you know, I'm not gonna. Looks wrong with us. There's two you sides. See, you yeah. Naked ass too, so there's the, there's two want. sides to the coin, though. You don't want to scare them off, but at the same time, you don't want to pretend like you're a community that you're not. You don't want to. You don't want to hide the. You know, all the crazy shit you do, and then and then when they actually move to New Hampshire and there's crazy shit going on, and they're like, oh, I didn't expect this. Yeah, don't I lie though. I'm just be honest with them. Let them see what they, yeah. they expect. Yeah, that's the best policy you could have in life. Like, why why even try to keep a PR nice image of it? No, like the freer, the better, the weirder, the better. So just let it all out, man. Let it go and be your true self. Yeah. They at least arranged the the campground into an adult section and well, a family well, section. That, that actually is the case. Like this yeah. year. During the uh, during the registration, like the whole area that we're in, that is the adult section. The adult, that's it's why we're next to the orgy tent. tent. I know, yeah. right? Yeah. Are you going to the orgy tent tomorrow? Supposedly there's an orgy tomorrow. You're gonna, you're Let's do it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Let's we'll join the orgy together, Murdoch. An orgy invitation. Oh, right. <laughs> this definitely is the rebel lunch. Do we have to? Do we have well, to sit? You missed last night. They, last night they had a strip club. You missed it. Uh, no, I, I peeked my head in. You peeked your head in. Yeah. Were too scared to go inside or pay the admission? No, I was busy. You're busy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it was a it was a fun time. We we went uh, went there last night. A uh, real mistress over there. She didn't get naked, uh, unfortunately. I, think uh, I made a lot of tips. Oh yeah, you did get paid. A lot. She just commented she got to pay a lot of tips. Her tips paid for future uh, lap dances throughout the night. It was beautiful. Wow. Like, I didn't have to pay for I didn't have to pay for a lap dance. So yeah. she did she went one dance, a bunch of people threw money down and we used that for lap dances for us. You went Dutch. She paid for everything. What a stimulating yeah. economy. <laughs> that's that's pork fest. It, it, it was absolutely beautiful. You know. Yeah, and the, and the only real uh, improvement they could have made was to put up a little magical uh, divider cloth between the family and adult. Section. I mean, well, the family section is way up north, so it kind of is like a division. If you look at the yeah, map, yeah, they did split it up. That's supposed to be the family area uh, up toward the north of the, of the campsite, and everything to the southwest or whatnot. That's all the adult area, right? You know. Uh, anyways, we're kind of near the end. Uh, Luke, uh, where, 
clients you have? Uh, we are change.org. Everything is all up on there. All right, what about you, Don't comply.com and come and take it, Texas. Now, uh, first off, before we hit the end, uh, Murad, I just want to say it's been an honor that you've been like living with me for the last, uh, it feels like a week. My, 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 uh, my pork fest literally started Thursday night when I got off of vacation. So I'm, I'm going on a week now of uh, pork fest mode. As soon as I hit vacation, there's a bunch of out-of-towners in town hanging out with us, you included. Uh, and we've been sharing uh, campsite and whatnot. It's been an uh, absolute honor having you here, especially because we've talked for so long. Yeah. And we've uh, I've witnessed your uh, your activism increase. You know, you I remember talking to you talking to me about like doing open carry events and we're going to do this, and you actually did it. You actually yeah. did all these events, and I, I watched you do that and see the reactions to it and whatnot. And plus, you're both of you you're big on uh, uh, live streaming. And Video graphic. That's not enough. Not enough. No, activists actually video graph stuff. I've been really pushing activists in New Hampshire to live stream a lot more. I think there's a there's a definite need for that. There should be some activism live streaming somewhere in the world 24/7. Yeah. And there's an audience for it. People want to see it. They're Absolutely. They're craving for it. Yeah. And it has definitely been an honor uh, staying with you and having that little slice of uh, Manchester. Well, man. It's weird that we can be competing with each other. Like, we'll, we'll yes. throw up, I'll throw. I'll tell you what's going on here, and you're like, "Oh, we got." You know, like we did open carry event at the airport. You're like, "Oh, we got." Oh, that was do, amazing. We got to outdo that. We got to come up with something different to compete with the people, the activists in the Shire. It's like we're like pushing each other to go forth and do more things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I do one thing. You're like, I see your open carry, and I raise you an airport open carry. <laughs> <laughs> Good sir. Yeah, it's yeah. very dignified. Yeah, it, it's been it's been an impressive ride. Hopefully, you uh, outdo us even more. I, I'd love to see the activism you're doing in Texas, especially you, your numbers. I know you got more of a population than uh, Texas, but like your numbers that you get open carry events like blow us out of the water. Well, it's gun stuff. You know, down there in Texas, we all talk about our guns. Yeah, right. you're hitting you're hitting uh, a larger niche than we are. It's yeah. great. Even the statists down there love guns, and I think that's a great issue to get them in on uh, the actual liberty movement. And they're being led by an anarchist. Straight Which up. Which is beautiful. Yeah. What about you, Shire Dude? Where can you find you at? Everything's at ShireDude.com. And you can find all this content here for Rebel Love Show at RebelLoveShow.com. Uh, go uh, subscribe to us on iTunes and Stitcher. Peace. Peace. Merry Porch Feasts. Thank you, Travis. I appreciate that. That was great. Thank you. Key Mention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the shop. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various beautiful cities in Keen. Oh, it's beautiful. Actually, it's a beautiful little city. It's a 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 quaint little town that is dug in and refuses to let itself grow. And therefore, it'll slowly die. It's already started. You know, we've got to go.